Good day, future engineers. In this topic, I will be discussing about distance measurements, where we will understand some principles in measuring distance. We will know some of the different early measuring techniques, as well as uh, we will identify the different surveying instruments used nowadays. And the last part of this lecture is how to determine your pace factor and how do we use it in measuring some distances. So let's proceed. Distance is one of the most basic engineering measurements. Linear measurement is the basis of all surveying and even though angles may be read precisely, the length of at least one line in a track must be measured to supplement the angles in locating points. Distance between two points can be horizontal, slope, or vertical. And it, it is recorded in units of meters or feet. So dito sa Pilipinas, ginagamit natin ang metric system o yung SI units where we have a unit of meters sa distance. Before surveying instruments were developed to measure distance, there are early measurement techniques that are practiced where we use a body to measure distances. Here are the examples. First one is cubits, where the distance between the tip of your middle finger to the elbow, and it is typically to measure cords and textiles. Here is one cubit. Next, fathom, distance between the tips of your middle finger when your arms are outstretched. So, wingspan. Next one, foot distance from the tip of a big man, uh, big man's toe to the heel. So, feet and rod the sum of the lengths of the left feet of 16 men. So, yet. Yeah. So, we all know that these early measurements are inaccurate. It will give us inaccurate results. Why? Because our bodies don't have the same dimensions, don't have the same lengths compared to others. Some have longer arms, longer wingspan, longer feet, depending on what we have inherited from our parents or on what uh, race we have. So if we compare our feet to other races, yung mga Amerikano, mas mahabang paan nila compared sa size ng paan natin. So this measurement will not give us accurate result. So, hindi pa naman kasi dito develop yung mga surveying instrument. Wala pang mga standard uh, lens noong mga panahon na yun. Here are the methods of measuring distance in surveying. The first one is by using tape or chain. Tapes are available in lengths up to 300 meters. They have a precision of 1 over 1,000 to 1 over 5,000. In the surveying laboratory, um, we have available lengths of 50 meters and 100 meters that we can use in a ano, laboratory the other ano, tool that we can use is the chain um, engineers before use ropes lines and cords in measuring distance but these uh, tools are prone to elongation and it will lead to errors in measurement that's why in the late 1600s um, the chain is developed as a measuring tool. So, ito ang ano, chain. Sa surveying lab, di na tayo gumagamit niyan. Wala tayo niyan sa surveying lab. Because this uh, tool or this instrument is very obsolete and it's very heavy. Made of steel. And 
and comparing it to steel tape which is very portable uh, mas accurate din yung ating steel tape compared sa chain that's why uh, taping or chaining is commonly used in measuring distance because they are very accurate and very precise Kung accuracy lang naman ang pag-uusap, uh, surveying instruments that has a capability of electronic distance measurement will give you a more accurate result compared to steel tape. And another advantage of EDMs, um, they are very useful in measuring distances that are difficult to access or uh, very long in distance. So unlike sa steel tape natin, which is limited, to the maximum length, itong electronic distance measurement ay mas mahaba yung range na kaya niyang basahin. So here are the examples of uh, surveying instrument we can use. Meron tayong laser distance meter. Meron din tayong uh, total station. And pwede rin natin gamitin yung RTK or GNSS or yung my GPS na feature na RTK sa paghahanap uh, ng distance. The next one is the measuring use for the perambulator. Uh, this instrument, it can measure distance rapidly and the distance traversed is automatically registered on the dial. As you can see, it has the same feature sa odometer ng sasakyan or sa motor where the distance traveled is measured. Some of the surveyors prefer this instrument in marking stations compared to the steel tape because it is more comfortable. So, para ka lang naglaro na bata sa pagsusukat ng distance using this uh, instrument. Come now to the last method for distance measurement, which is the pacing. It's a method of measuring distance with the help of pace length. And this type of method is used where approximate results are required and the length of the pace generally vary from person to person. It's multiplied by the number of pace to measure the total distance. So it's important for us to determine what, uh, what is our pace factor for us to easily uh, measure distances using our pace. Pace is a length of a step, while stride is equivalent to two paces or a downward step. To compute the pace factor, a measured distance is to be divided by the average number of paces. Therefore, we have a unit of meter per pace for pace factor. What are the advantages and disadvantages of pacing? First one, for the advantages is, is simple, low tech, and no special specialized equipment required. The disadvantages are topography affects its accuracy. Kung hindi flat yung surface, pwede maapiktuhan yung ating uh, sukat kapag pacing ang ginamit natin. And it requires practice to take a consistent pace. Must be able to traverse the distance. Dapat straight lang yung ating pacing, yung direction ng ating pacing. And sometimes it is difficult, lalo na sa pagsusurvey, kasi uh, merong mga obstruction dyan na hindi natin inaasahan. And it only measures slope distances. So, di natin alam kung ang, ang ground na sinusukat natin ay sloping o may slope. So, yun lang ang masusukat natin using pacing. So, along the surface lang yung masusukat natin gamit ang pace factor. Next. So, ito ang sample layout ng ano ng paghahanap ng ating pace factor. 
So, kung mag-laboratory exercise sana tayo or mag-field work, ito sana yung gagawin natin sa paghahanap ng ating pace factor. So, sa ating mga modules, pakitingnan na lang step-by-step -step procedure in uh, determining our pace factor. How do we come up to that? So, the, the first method is look, find the proper location, then set out stationing of a distance of 100 meters. Okay, ito yung starting point. Let's say this is point A and a station of point B. Distance niya ay 100 meters using steel tape. Then, for three trials, we will count the number of steps that we will make from point A to point B trial 1, point B to point C, uh, point A, trial 2, and point A to point B, trial B. As you can see here, sa first trial niya, may 138, 137, and 137 sa third trial. So this is the tape distance, 100 meters. To calculate the pace factor uh, individually per trial, we will compute the pace factor. So, dun muna tayo sa AB, dun sa trial 1. Okay. Trial 1 is equals to ano nga yung formula natin para sa pace factor. Pace factor is distance divided by the number of pace. Okay. Paces. Substitute for trial 1, we have a distance of 100 meters to be divided by 138. Okay? So, trial 1 has compute. Yan. So, ito. The calculator 100 divided by 138 equals to 0 0.7246 0 0.7246 meters per pace okay ayun lumampas na natin doon sa taas 0. 7246 Trial number 2 Same formula Substitute ko na lang 100 meters Divided by 137 Okay Calculator ulit Zero point seven two nine nine. Zero point seven two nine nine meter per pace. Trial three. Understood na yan na parehas lang din naman ang lalabas na sagot natin sa trial two kasi parehas naman yung number of pieces niya. Sige, I just rewrite the solution but it will give you the same result. Yan. After that, rewrite here sa ating ano, field book. 0 0.7299 Taman, 0 0.7299 and hanapin natin yung average ng tatlo or the mean pace factor okay. 0 0.7246 plus 0 0.7299 plus 0 0.7299 okay. divide by Average is 0 0.7281. Okay, 0 0.7281 meters 
or meter per pace. So, yun. The average pace factor is equal to pace factor ng trial 1 plus pace factor ng trial 2 pace factor ng trial 3 divided by the total number of trials. Pwede kasi yan dagdagan mo para mas accurate yung sukat mo. Divided by 3. So, ganun lang kadali ang pag-compute ng pace factor. So, let's answer some problems in pace factor. Surveyor has unit pace of 0.9 meter per pace and she counts 37 paces while walking from point C to point D. What is the distance between C and D? Another, how many paces should the same surveyor count to lay out a line roughly 122 meters long? So, meron tayong pace factor na 0.9 meter per pace. Para sa A, question A, hanapin daw yung distance between C and D. Kung meron tayong total pace, okay, number of pace na 37 paces. Going back to the formula, pace factor is equals to the distance divided by the number of paces. Ang required dito ay yung distance. So, uh, Multiply natin yung number of paces sa ating pace factor para mahanap yung distance. So, magiging distance equals to pace factor multiplied by the number of paces. Therefore, the distance is equals to 0 0.9 meter per pace times the number of paces, which is 37 paces. Cancel. Ating distance pala ay 0 0.9 times 37 is 33.3 meters. That's the answer. For letter B, Para naman sa letter B, hanapin naman natin yung number of pieces kapag meron tayong distance na 122 meters. So, ang pace factor natin, ano na yan, uh, fix na yan. Kapag alam mo na yung pace factor mo, yun na yun. Kaya, dito sa letter B, uh, ang required naman dito ay yung number pace. So, pace factor is equals to D over the number of paces. So, kung ito yung required, the number of paces pala is equals to the distance. Okay? Ta transpose natin yung pace factor. Kaya distance over pace factor. Therefore, D over pace factor, o yung distance natin, 122 meters long divided by Pace factor, which is 0 0.9 meter per pace, will give you an answer of what? 122 over 0 0.9. Okay. 122 divided by 0 0.9. 135.556. 135.5. 5, 6 uh, pieces. Kasi yun yung matitirang unit natin. That's the answer for letter P. Next. A student recorded the following number of paces after walking a distance of 50 meters repeatedly at 71.5, 72, 70, and 69.5. He wanted to measure distance between two points C and D 
and recorded the following uh, number of bases from C to D and back as 465, 468, 463, and 460. What is the distance from C to D? So, mag-focus muna tayo dun sa reference, ano natin, reference distance na 50 meters. Okay? So, ito yung given. 50 meters distance. At sa 50 meters distance na yan, meron siyang paces na 71.5, 72, and 70, and 69.5. So, ang Paces natin, ia-average natin yan. Meron tayong apat na trials. So therefore, the average number of pace for the 50 meter distance is equals to 1. Average number of pace natin sa 50 meters ay 70.75. Tama? Yes. Paces. Balik ulit tayo sa pace factor. Pace factor ay may formula na distance divided by the average number of Paces. Therefore, if you have a 50 meter distance divided by 70.75 paces, ang pace factor ng student ay 50 divided by 70.75 equals to 0. 0.7067 Sige, tagdagad ka na lang ang isa pang decimal Meter per pace So, hindi pa yan yung sagot Ang pinapahanap dito hanapin, hahanapin niya yung distance dun sa points C and D At ito naman yung kanyang mga na-record na number of Pieces. So, ito. I-record na natin yan. Save na natin yan sa ating calculator. Or, or para di makalimutan, i-store ko to dito sa A. Okay? Shift, store. Sa A. So, ito. Nasa A na siya. So, I will erase. Okay. Erase natin. So, kung meron na tayong pace factor na 0 0.7067, tama ba? Yes. At meron tayong nahanap the number of paces sa C to D na meron tayong apat na trials. So, hanapin ulit yung average number of pace for that distance, which is unknown. So, ito yung mga given natin. Average na agad natin dito sa given pa lang. We have 465 plus 468 plus 463 plus 460 divided by the number of trials, which is 4. Mm. 465, 468, 463, and 460 divided by 
464. 464 lang naman pala. Ang average natin. Formula for pace factor. Pace factor is equals to the distance divided by the average number of paces. Since distance is required, transpose natin yung average number of paces. Ang equation natin magiging ganito na. Distance equals to, yun, Let's multiply natin to dito. The pace factor times the average number of paces. Pace factor is 0.7067 or yung nistore natin kanina. Meter per pace times the average number of pace which is 464 paces. Cancel yung paces. Mahanap na yung distance. Zero point o yung A natin, recall natin yung A times 464. Yan ang sagot. 327.915. 327.915 meters. That's the answer. Okay. That ends our lecture for distance measurement. Uh, don't forget to answer the worksheet attached on your modules. And I also attach a link there if you want to have an idea on how to determine the pace factor, a video there on YouTube, and some ano, hand signals used in surveying. So that's it. Thank you and get